everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on this look, but I'm going to be doing something a little bit different, something I've never done before, but is a wildly popular um, video that people do all the time, and it's doing half the face in high-end products and half the face in low or drugstore products. So I decided to do that for this tutorial today, and I will give you guys just a couple seconds to guess which side is the high-end or the low-end. So we have this side, and I know my lipstick does not match exactly, it was the closest I could get for the sake of the video. Um, but yeah, so which side do you guys think is the high end and which side do you guys think is the low end? So the high end side is this side right here. The entire cost of products, if I were to buy these all full size, full price products um, at their regular retail price, this whole side would have cost me $355 and this side if I again bought everything full-sized at the regular sale price would have cost $62 so $355 versus $62 I think overall, with the exception of two things, one, like I said, the lipstick is not an exact match, as well as the eyeshadow. I think that this eyeshadow is just a tiny bit lighter, the lid color. Um, but yeah, so that's a huge, huge price difference of $355 versus $62. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I created this look, and as well as all the products that I used, and some are dupes, some are very similar, but not quite dupes, then please keep watching. So the first thing I'll be using is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Oil. And one thing you might notice about most of my high-end products is that they're all going to be sample items. And that's just because I don't spend a lot on high-end makeup in general. So yeah, a lot of my stuff's going to be sample size because it's free. <laughs> so this I'm going to do on this side. And this was the only high-end primer that I had. Ideally, I wish I had one that was a little bit more similar to the low end one, um, but I'm just going to work with what I have. So on the other side, I will be using the Hard Candy Sheer Envy Face Primer. So the primer oil is $42. Oh my gosh, $42 for the full size. And the Hard Candy Sheer Envy is $8. So for my foundation, this is a new one that I got, and I actually got this on sale, but I did use the original retail price, and this is the Stila Illuminating Liquid Foundation, and even though I got this for $13 at Marshalls, the original price of this one was $38. Oh my god, $38 for this foundation. And I've never used this foundation on my face, so hopefully, hopefully it'll work. We'll see if the color is okay. Um, I'm just going to start by like dotting it over my face and then I'll blend that all in together so yeah I've never used this foundation at all hopefully it will do me some good so far that really didn't do <laughs> too much I mean I wasn't really expecting like a super huge you know like coverage wise I guess just because it doesn't really seem to be marketed really towards that um illuminating liquid foundation it's a little better with the second coat but i still feel like i really need to add just a little bit more okay so i'm going to swap out my foundation i'm going to do a different one for the high end so i'm going to replace it with the makeup forever ultra hd but the steel one just seems to be very light like i feel like it looks like i didn't really put anything on so for the sake of comparable foundations. I'm going to apply this one on top. And I, I can already tell that the coverage of this one is a lot better. Okay, so I'm happy with that. This is the high end side and now let's move on to the low end. So for the other side, I'm going to be using the BH Liquid Foundation. This is, um, let's see, how much is this? $10, but I think it's currently on sale for five at the moment, um, but $10 regularly. Same thing, I'm just going to dot it all over and I'm hoping that the color somewhat matches at least the other foundation. I don't know, I feel like it's, it's kind of a struggle to get the foundations to even match when you're doing these kind of like half and half kind of looks but we'll just have to make it work okay so that is both sides with the foundation on i feel like it actually matches pretty 
pretty well. So next for my concealer, for the high-end side, I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever um, Ultra HD, I think is what it is, that one. Let's see, the color is R30. And again, that's just a sample because I do not have the money for a um, $27 concealer. So let's see, I'll just apply this under my eye. I think the color, the color is okay. I actually got a little bit more than I probably needed, but that is okay. And then I'm just gonna blend that like I typically would. It feels really nice, like and um, thin. It doesn't seem to be too um, thick. Okay, yeah, not bad. I actually kind of like the way that looks. So that was the high end, and now for the low end or drugstore, whatever, um, I'm going to be using my all-time favorite concealer, and this is the Hard Candy Glamouflage Concealer, and this is, um, how much is this? $6. Now this one is a little bit lighter, so I hope it doesn't like, I don't know, show up like significantly lighter, um, and it's also a little bit thicker um, than the HD concealer. Okay, so I don't think it's super, super lighter. I think it's just a little bit more brighter under this side, obviously, um, than this side, but I think overall it's not a huge difference. So the next product I'm gonna do is um, contour, and for the high end, again, I didn't have a single um, product that was high end, so what I ended up doing was choosing my Too Faced, um, what is it, gingerbread cookie palette that happens to have a um, bronzer in it and then I just took the price of their regular bronzers to count for that um, so this is the gingerbread color Then for the low end side, I'm gonna be using my Pro Fusion Studio Contour Palette. I'm gonna be using the contour and the highlight for this, um, but for now I'm just gonna to stick to the contour. Now the only thing that's different about this one, it's a little bit cooler um, toned and it's also matte, which the Too Faced one wasn't matte, but I don't think it'll make a huge difference. I don't think it'll be noticeable. Similarly with the bronzer, I did the same thing for the blush and I took the Too Faced Eggnog palette and the blush in here is Peach Cobbler. It's kind of like a peachy pink color and same thing. I didn't have a um, standalone blush so this will just have to do. Whew, I put a lot of that on there. And then for the low end, I'm using the Clean Color Miss Chick Universally Flattering Blush, and this one is in the color Apricot, Apricot. Um, very similar color. They're both, I, is the other one matte? Yeah, they're both matte. They're super, super similar colors. I would really pretty much call these almost, almost a dupe. And the price of this one was a dollar. This one can also be really um, pigmented as well. Yeah, I definitely put a little bit more on there than I typically would. But pretty, pretty close colors, I would say, in real life. And I forgot to mention, if the blush was one of their full-size blushes, um, the cost would be $26. So next for my highlighter, I'm gonna be using this Becca highlighter in the color Moonstone. Now the full-size price of this is $38. Um, this, of course, is the miniature size, but you know, I'm going by full size prices. This is one of my favorite highlighters. I love how it looks, um, but I just can't, you know, bring myself to pay $38 for a, for a highlighter. So that is the Becca highlight. And then going back to the Profusion palette, again, this one was $6, and I'm gonna use the highlighter color on here. And I think that this one, is really it's a really good highlighter especially for the whole palette being about six dollars I think let's see yeah five ninety nine I think that the highlighter is like super super strong it might actually be more I don't know more shimmery just a little bit brighter than the than the Becca so, so far that is all of the skin. I would say it looks pretty identical to me. Um, and yeah, so let's move on to the eyes. 
Okay, so moving on to the eyes. For the high-end side, I'm going to be using my Urban Decay Primer Potion. And the price of that is, I think, $20 originally. And then for the low-end side, I'm going to be using my e.l.f. Eyelid Primer. I'm not gonna lie, this is not my favorite eyeshadow primer, but it will get the job done. So for the shadows, for the high-end side, I'm going to be using the Dose of Colors Ice Cream Palette. Looks like this. And the three colors that I'm going to be using um, are Cone, Hot Fudge, and Mint Chip. So those are these two colors here and then this one here. And I actually found some pretty similar dupes um, that I will be using for the low end and those are all individual shadows from Coastal Scents. They're Hot Pot so I will go through and tell you guys which ones are the close to. So the first shadow on the low inside that I'm going to be using is the Coastal Scents um, shadow in the color New Terrain. It looks like this. Um, this is the similar color to Cone in the Dose of Colors palette. However, Cone is just a tiny bit more mauve and a little bit more cool toned. Um, but as far as what I had, this was the closest thing. So I'm going to take this on a fluffy brush and apply that to the crease. And what I love about the Coastal Scents shadows is that um, their regular their regular price is a dollar ninety five, um, which is amazing. <laughs> Especially since I really love the shadows a lot. You can see how pigmented they are. Um, they blend really easily, and I'm just a huge fan of these. I have so so many of these okay so i'm pretty happy with that now i'm going to do the same thing on the other side and again this color is um the color cone in the dose of colors palette so i'm wiping off my brush so that i don't have any you know color transfer or anything and same thing i'm going to apply this to the crease area Okay, so I'm happy with that. This is the color Cone. This is the color New Terrain. So next on the low end, the next Coastal Scents Hot Pot I'll be using is the color Deep Rose. This one is like a dark matte brown color. And this one is um, very similar to the color Hot Fudge in the Dose of Colors palette. So same thing. I'm going to take just a little bit less of this because it is a bit more of a uh, darker color. And I'm going to focus a lot of that on the outer corner and gently blend that inward to deepen the crease a bit more. So this is the side with the darker shadow and again moving back to the ice cream palette I will be using this color here called hot fudge and again applying it in that in the outer crease area and gently blending that inward I will mention that between the hot fudge color and the deep roast color I do think the hot fudge color blended just a tiny bit better but overall color wise they seem very similar to me as well so going back to the lower inside with a color new terrain that we used first on the crease I'm gonna take that on a pencil brush and I'm going to apply that on the lower outer corner and blend that inwards and I'm gonna blend that to about halfway Then taking the deep roast color or dark roast, I can't remember the name of it, I'm going to apply that mainly just on the outer third of my lash line. And then I will repeat that with the respective colors from the Dose of Colors palette. So for the lid from the Coastal Scents Hot Pot, I'm going to be using this shadow here. This one is S11. I'll have to look up the name and insert it so you guys can um, know what the name of this is. It might be Paris Green, but I'm not positive and I will have the correct name in case that's not right. So then taking my flat shader brush, what I did is I applied just a little spritz of my um, makeup setting spray just to kind of lightly wet the brush and I'm going to pick that up and I'm going to apply that onto the lid. Then I'm going to take just a tiny bit of that and go on the inner corner and bring that in and blend it towards the center. Then using the color Mint Chip from the Dose of Colors palette, I'm going to do the same thing. So as you can see, this side is just a tiny a bit lighter than the dupe side. So what I'm going to do to even it out just a little bit is take another one of my Hot Pots. This is in the color Minty Fizzy. It's a little bit lighter. And I'm going to take just a tiny, tiny bit of that on my brush. And I'm going to gently apply just a little bit on top just to lighten this up a bit to get a little bit more of an accurate color match. 
So you can see this one is still just the tiniest, tiniest bit darker, but overall I think from a distance it is pretty similar. And then finally going back with the respective deepest colors that we used in the crease, I'm gonna go back and just apply a tiny bit more of that just to blend where the lid color meets the crease color. Okay, and so that is it for the eyeshadows. Again, I think you will notice that this one is just a tiny bit darker than this side, but I'm not gonna lie, I think I kinda like this side a little bit more anyway. Something about that green um, definitely just has a little bit more pop to it, which I think looks prettier than this side. I think both are nice, um, but this one is just a tiny bit light. So next for eyes, I'm going to line my upper lash line, and for my liquid liner, the first one I'm gonna be using is the Maybelline Line Stiletto on the lower end, and I will be using the Kat Von D Trooper on the high end. So the low end eyeliner is about $6, and the Kat Von D one, I believe, is about $20. So that is with the liner, so of course the Kat Von D on this side and the Maybelline on this side, I think they look pretty much the same. So next for eyeliner, I'm going to um, line my waterline, and I'm gonna do a little bit of my tight line, and the first one that I'm using for the lower end is the Ulta Gel Eyeliner in the color Blackout, and the price of this is, I think, $8 originally and then for the high end I'm going to be using the Marc Jacobs um, eyeliner I don't even know what that's called but it came in the Sephora birthday gifts of the year and this full size is $25 so for mascara for the low end, I'm going to be using my CoverGirl um, Lash Blast. And for the high end, I'm going to be using my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. So another product that I don't have a high end version of is for brows. So for both brows, I will be using the BH Cosmetics Brow Color in the color Blonde. And finally for lipstick on the high end side, I'm going to be using the Lime Crime Lipstick in the color Eraser. And for the low end side, I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Moisturizing Lipstick in the color party in the buff. Now, these colors aren't exactly 100% a dupe or anything. Um, I would say that the Lime Crime one is a little bit more pink and the Elf one's a little bit more of an orange, um, but these are like the two closest lipsticks that I had in a like high-end counterpart, so that'll be have to just be the closest I get. So I think you can tell that the lipsticks are definitely a little bit two different tones. Again, like I said, the Lime Crime one's a little bit more pink and the Elf one is a little bit more orange tone, um, but that's pretty much the closest thing I had for like a high-end low-end lipstick. So uh, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please like and subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram. Link is below. And until my next video, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.